Hi, my name is Dr. Pat Kiley, and I'm CEO of Sentry. At Sentry, we're aware of the continuing pressures and impacting operators of water and wastewater treatment systems. From a wastewater perspective, certainly conditions and wastewater conditions entering these wastewater treatment facilities are, are always changing. Also, the operators of these facilities have little to no real insight into how the biology driving these processes are actually performing. This lack of insight, this lack of real-time data, requires these treatment facilities to be over-designed with added redundancy and certainly limits the ability of any process optimization uh, to really, really uh, focus on energy optimization. So, we always know the wastewater conditions are changing, whether it's diurnal trends in organic load, whether it's industrial clients discharging wastewater, whether it's inflow and infiltration from heavy rain events. And it's absolutely crazy to us to think that you have this massive piece of really complicated infrastructure being driven by biomass and, and microbial communities, but there are no tools to really tell the operators how this biomass and how these communities are actually performing in real time. So we developed Sentry. We started seven years ago uh, looking at how we can grow active biofilm on conductive surfaces. We've developed uh, an end-to-end -end solution that has a sensor component where we grow naturally occurring bacteria from the wastewater streams in these wastewater treatment plants. Uh, these communities then respire to or breathe onto the sensor surface. And we simply take that signal in situ from the wastewater treatment process and display it on a dashboard. So in effect, we're taking the blindfold off the operators of these wastewater treatment systems and allowing them to see in real time exactly what's happening in their bioreactor. It's really simple. The clients receive the sensors, they install the sensors in the wastewater treatment process. We visualize the data on the dashboard. We set alarms around what is normal at the wastewater treatment facility. And then the dashboard is primed. When strange or unknown, conditions in the wastewater are impacting the biology, the operator will receive a notification. These imbalance events are typically caused by industrial clients discharging big loads of organic carbon into the collection system. This is a spike in activity, or perhaps it's something acutely toxic to the biomass. And this would be uh, seen as a big drop in, in activity on the dashboard. So we started installing commercial systems uh, three years ago. What we didn't do at the time was tell our customers, look, this is the only way to install it. Install it here and just do this exactly. What we actually did is we asked our customers, this is our platform, this is our technology. How would you like to see this data? Where would you like to see the data? Where would the insight be most helpful to you? So over the last three years, we've developed seven different problem statements, helping our wastewater treatment clients identify toxic discharge events in the collection system, profiling the wastewater coming into the wastewater treatment plant at the front end in these primary clarifiers, helping anaerobic digestion, co-digestion applications, and then going right through the, the removal process, whether it's aeration optimization, nutrient removal, or effluent monitoring of the wastewater leaving the treatment plant. For the Urban Water Challenge, we're really excited to work in partnership with uh, a consultant for the World Bank, Daniel Alasco, and Sebespe in Brazil. Uh, our proposed project is to install sentry systems at four wastewater treatment plants. This is servicing up to 21 million people. The sentry systems will be installed at the front end of each facility, profiling exactly the impact of key industrial dischargers, inflow and infiltration, diurnal trends of organic load, really giving a full profile of how all of these changes are impacting the biomass of the plant. And then after that, we're gonna look at aeration optimization strategies. So providing a key insight to the aeration basins on the organic load and how, how it's impacting the biomass uh, as a feed forward signal, allowing operations to optimize aeration delivery before the, the wastewater even reaches the aeration basin. For the urban water challenge, we're really focused on improving and targeting uh, aspects related to SDG 6.3 and SDG 6.6. .6. So looking to reduce toxic shock events and reduce plant uh, effluent issues, and also demonstrating um, Sentry as a unique tool that allows for improved monitoring and optimization of the wastewater treatment process. 
or ask for support, what we'd like to get from our audience, introductions to new wastewater treatment clients, um, anyone who's having toxicity, wastewater change, wastewater imbalance issues, also any clients who are looking to aeration optimization or anyone who's looking to save money or optimize their process at the wastewater treatment plant. Thank you very much.